everybody, Andrew Rice. Hope you're having a great day. I'm out here at the Western Savannah Harbor Resort and I wanted to share a very cool, fun skill drill that I like to practice on my own or have some of my students do it, most often the latter. It's called the seven ball drill and we've got seven shots that I'm going to require for you to hit when you do this drill. The first one is going, well, we, we're going to go in a random order, but here are the seven shots, a big slice, a medium fade, a baby fade, a straight shot, a baby draw, a medium draw, and a big hook. So I'm going to try to hit each one of them. We're going to mix it up. I've got an alignment rod pegged in the ground right between the ball and my target, which I believe you can see out there. I certainly shouldn't hit that target on but one of them, and that would be the straight one. So let's start out with the big slice. I really want to do whatever I can. There are no rules. I've just got to do whatever I sense I need to do to hit the biggest slice that I can. I've got a seven iron, by the way. Here we go. And certainly a nice size slice. I'll take that any day. I'm going to decide whether I get a point or no point. In that one, I get a point. Next one, I'm going to go for a medium draw. And that was quite appropriate too. I get the point on the medium draw. This one is going to be a baby fade. Just a little itty bitty fade, a nice tight one. And all the while while doing this, I'm not necessarily thinking of what I need to do. I'm trying to use my skill, my feel, my perception to get a sense of how to ultimately control this golf ball. I'm using my technique to be skillful. So baby fade. Ooh. It was a little bit of a pull, but it did have a little bit of a baby fade. Yeah, no point. Too much of a pull. Next one. It did fade a little bit though. Let's go with the monster hook. So, certainly going to change my aim to try to get this ball to connect back to my target. And that's an easy one for me. I've to a certain degree got that built into my game. That's an easy one. So, okay, what have we got left? I know we've got a baby draw, so let's hit that one. Baby draw. We'll knock out the draws with this. Not the best strike in the world, but it was predictable enough. It started to the right and curved to the left. Point. We're going to leave the hardest one for last, the straight one. Here's my medium fade, I believe. Is what I've got left on the fade side. Medium fade. Come on. Oh, that was that was lovely. I think I take that every day. Medium fade. So I'm one point short so far. I don't normally do this well. I'm somehow responding under pressure. But here's the challenging one. The straight ball. Here's the straight one. much fade. I would give it a little too much fade. Five out of seven points. Give this drill a try. It really is great fun. It's creative. You're going to learn to become more skillful and you really are going to get a sense for the shot that you intend to hit on a go-to basis out on the golf course. Really give it a try. The seven ball drill. Mix it up. Don't go all the way from a slice to a big hook. Pick your random shots out of the middle. Once you're done all seven, See how many points you get, keeps you accountable, and really is good fun. Thanks for watching.